Okay, let's take a look at the setups for 21, 23, and also for 25. So, let's take a look at the first setup, which has to be with problem number 21. In problem 21, if you notice, don't forget to put the equal above the varies. We have this directly, so therefore I know I'm going to end up multiplying k times something. And here's the formula that you should have set up. k is equal, x is equal to k times y. First step is always solving for k. And here it is, 24 is equal to 32 times k. Whatever that answer is, don't forget, from step one, number one, you'll start all over again. This time, though, you do have an answer for k, and therefore you can go ahead and just solve the problem looking for the y. Okay, let's look at the next type. That's problem number 23. If you look at problem number 23, it talks about a person's weight on the moon varies directly as the person's weight on the earth. I use M for moon and E for earth. But notice there's varies, there's my equal, and because it says directly, I know I'm going to multiply the constant times the earth. So it's moon is equal to the constant k times e for earth. Remember, the first step is always solving for k. So here's the setup, and then you can go ahead and just solve for k from that point on. And now for the last one that I've started the process for you again. It's problem number 25. So let's look at problem number 25. Here the setup is very, very similar. Once again, we're talking about for a storage box with the same volume in the area, the area of the box of the bottom of the box varies inversely. Now notice the word varies inversely, which means k is going to be in the numerator, and since we're talking about height, height will be in the denominator. Step number one is, like the previous problems, you're always looking for k first. So they would have to give you the area, which they did, and they would have to also then give you the height. When you get through solving for k from step one, you go back again. This time they're saying, well, suppose the height happened to be 16. So what's going to happen? I know what the constant is, which is k, because that would come from step number one. So by solving step number one, I plug it in these two, and I actually then would end up with the area.